Hello, and welcome to a short introduction on applying I.O. constraints in Libro SOC. This video will show you different methods for applying I.O. constraints in the Constraint Manager using any version 12 release of Libro SOC or when enhanced constraint flow is selected in versions 11.8 or 11.9. I.O. constraints for microchip FPGA devices are typically stored in a physical design constraint, or PDC file. The Libro SOC Constraint Manager offers you a convenient and easy way to organize, modify, import, or create your own PDC files for your design. Using the Constraint Manager, syntax errors will be identified before compiling a design, reducing design cycle time. Creating PDC files manually can be cumbersome and frustrating. The I.O. Editor, which is located in the Constraint Manager, is a powerful tool which allows you to create a PDC file automatically by applying your desired constraints in an easy-to-use GUI. The Constraint Manager window can be accessed from the Libro Design Flow window. It is recommended to run Synthesis before opening the Constraint Manager. If you do not, the I.O. Editor will be unavailable. The I.O. Editor can be found by clicking on the I.O. Attributes tab, clicking on Edit, and selecting Edit with I.O. Editor. The I.O. Advisor will be covered in a separate video. In addition to creating a PDC file using the I.O. Editor, the Constraint Manager allows you to manually create a new PDC if you desire by clicking New, import an existing PDC file by clicking Import, or link to an existing PDC without importing it into the project by clicking Link. You can also use the Check function to perform a basic syntax check on any PDC file you have selected. The I.O. Attributes window will show all of the PDC files associated with your project. You can choose which one to use for place and route by selecting the checkbox for your desired file. In this demo, I have created a simple design consisting of one AND gate. Our first step is to generate the Smart Design Canvas by clicking on the Generate icon. In Libro version 12, a root module must be selected before any design flow actions can be performed. You can do this by clicking on the Design Hierarchy tab, right-clicking on your module, and clicking on Set as Root. Here you can see where to open the Constraint Manager in the Design Flow window. As you can see, when you open the Constraint Manager and try to use the I.O. Editor before synthesis, you will receive an error. So we must synthesize the design. After running Synthesis, you are able to open the I.O. Editor. The I.O. Editor window allows you to modify the constraints on your design using any of several different methods. In this demo, we will focus on Port View. The I.O. Editor will be covered in depth in a future video. As you can see in the Port View tab, you are able to easily modify the attributes on any pin in your design. The tool will only allow you to use attributes which follow proper design rules for your selected pins on your selected device, reducing the chance of errors. Once your attributes are selected, click on Commit to generate your PDC. As you can see, a PDC has been created for you with all of your desired settings. For additional information on the use of the Libro SOC Constraint Manager and IO Editor, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.